Good afternoon and welcome to day one of SWAT Cloud SWAM 10. It is my pleasure to introduce the first IBM keynote session of this virtual event. And today we will be hearing from Christoph Kleckner, who is the CTO of Enterprise Initiatives and Vice President of Cloud Platforms for IBM Corporation. In his current role, Christoph oversees the technical strategy for cloud computing across all of IBM. Christoph is going to be speaking to us today regarding cloud computing and smarter IT delivery. And with that, I will turn it over to our speaker for today, Christoph Kleckner. Thank you. Thank you very much, Janine. Uh, good afternoon, and thank you for joining this session. Uh, what I would like to do today is share with you uh, what we learned in our engagements with customers over the past year and a half as we have helped customers build their private clouds and as we have increasingly deployed services on the IBM cloud. So, first of all, I would like to give you the overall perspective on what we learned about how clients conceptualize cloud computing. So we view cloud computing as essentially a transformative combination of technologies that enable new consumption and delivery models inspired by the, con uh, by the consumer internet. It is enabled by virtualization, service automation, but also by standardization of services, technologies that are actually rather well known, but that have come together in what I would call a perfect storm for new consumption and delivery models. From a consumer perspective, cloud is associated with self-service, with sourcing options, flexible sourcing options, and with access, transparent access to seemingly limitless resources economies of scale through sharing of resources across clients and across workloads. Now, what we found as very, very important in our clients is the combination between self-service as an element of user or user organization empowerment and centralized delivery of standardized services. Uh, what we find here is, on the one hand, an ability for the service provider organization, whether internal or external, to give its clients a catalog of services that are instantly provisioned and selected by the client. So the client, by actually agreeing to a standardized set of services, gets instant access. If you, I, I want to give you a simple example here from my own experience in a prior life of running uh, large test and uh, development uh, systems. Now, what we often find is that these systems are within the ownership of individual teams and are usually very, very, very poorly utilized and Basically, there is no central control over who uses or visibility over who uses what, when, and for how long. Now, what we tried to do was introduce central delivery of development and test systems. Well, at first, of course, we found organizational resistance to giving up ownership of their system into a shared pool of resources. But when we showed them that we could actually deliver self-service access, which would lead to availability of a test system for a particular development team or test team within hours or minutes even, rather than within the usual weeks and months of uh, traditional provisioning time of physical resources, all resistance uh, basically vanished. And we ended up in a win-win situation uh, between the consumers of a test service and the providers of central test infrastructure. So this is just one example that I think should uh, you know, play to the experience of everyone who has ever been in development and test how cloud computing with self-service, with sourcing options, with sharing, delivering economies of scale 
and thus better utilization through you know, spreading of resources across a virtualized environment uh, leads to a win-win situation. So new consumption and delivery models uh, combining on the one hand better control and visibility, on the other hand more convenience, instant access. So for us, this really is another step in the industrialization of the delivery of IT supported services. And this goes for IT supported services that are provided by an in-house IT organization as well as for services that are provided by uh, external service providers. So what we actually found, what I found in my discussions with CIOs and CTOs is that uh, these teams view cloud computing as one step in the transformation of their uh, IT or IT business processes from just building, assembling, running IT-based assets to becoming an organization that is the sourcer, if you wish, of IT-based services. So that obviously requires discipline, it requires governance, and it requires a business perspective on the IT-based services. And in that, in, in that respect, what we actually found was that many of our clients view cloud computing as a continuation of the agenda that started with service-oriented architecture when we introduced the standardization of interfaces and architectures, which we now complement with the standardization of services. So uh, to repeat, virtualization gives you better utilization of your resources, thus a reduction of your capital expense. Service automation gives you a reduction of your operational expense, which usually is the bulk of the overall total cost of ownership, and standardization gives you a means of concentrating on a subset of critical services uh, that then, because you've actually reduced the number of services that you're looking at, can be much more easily automated. So a triage of technologies and approaches that together deliver new consumption and delivery models. We, we very strongly believe that multiple types of clouds will coexist, and some of you uh, may remember the definitions that the National Institute of Standards has introduced, uh, distinguishing between private clouds, public clouds, community clouds, and combinations thereof that we call hybrid. We believe multiple uh, types of clouds will coexist precisely because clients are looking, are taking a very measured, workload-driven approach to selecting what applications, what services to put where. So cloud deployment models address the needs for differing levels of security and control. So 